Hello and welcome to a new video on the Road to Glory. I'm going to start things off by showing you uh, the packs that I had saved for Team of the Group stage that I opened on Friday, no I want to say Saturday morning. I made uh, a lot of upgrade packs uh, before they expired, the 81 plus from different leagues. I made some many twos, I had the marquee matchups and all that. So as you saw, I had 46 uh, packs saved. I opened them all and it was a disaster. I only got one walkout, uh, which you're going to see. A few 84s and then the rest, some 83s and nothing else. So I couldn't make a video out of it. So I just put a few highlights here on this video to start things off. And I was hoping to hit one of those uh, players on team of the group stage and maybe try him out, maybe do a review on him. I didn't, but from the players that I saw, the Sun, that left mid card, uh, which was easy for me to put in the team instead of a, a striker card that he has. So I went and bought him. Uh, to try him out and do a review on him, which you're gonna find in this uh, channel, because on the 451, I can put him on the left wing, uh, isolate him there with Guardiola, then I have that red Robertson that I can put as a left back and get perfect cam on him. So I did that, the card was fantastic, I really enjoyed him. I thought I was gonna buy him just for the review, but because he was so good, I decided to keep him at least and play him in the weekend league and see if it's a card that I really, really like and enjoy and if he gives me that extra edge into the weekend league, then I might keep him. So I went into the weekend league and everything started falling apart again with uh, just idiotic gameplay. I almost started getting triggered, which I know with uh, weekend league, as you as you know from past episodes, it doesn't really bother me. I just play to like uh, goal three. Uh, if I have time, I might play a bit longer uh, until I play into a weekend where, you know, the gameplay feels all right. It started falling apart, although Sun did great, uh, as you will see from his uh, stats. Uh, I played uh, a lot of division rivals as I wanted to complete some of the objectives to get that Danilo card as well. I played like uh, 40 games with him and his return was uh, fantastic. I liked him, but because uh, the weekend league was so bad, I went ahead and sold him. Now uh, I lost quite a few coins on that card because I bought him uh, as soon as Team of the Group stage came out, I bought it like an hour, two hours later, which is the worst thing you can do with buying new players in promo, uh, in a promo that is in packs. I bought him for a million sixty, and then his uh, price uh, came crashing down. So I sold them out at 830. So I lost about 300,000 coins there, but it's all right because of the of a few trades that I did during the weekend, some flips, um, I saw a lot of the contract cards that I have in, in the club. So I'm back uh, at 2.5 million again. Um, I'm trying to buy some 83s, although the time to invest in these cards has passed because a lot of people have invested in all the fodder for uh, Messi, a player of the month that's gonna be released in a few days. So the market is quite high in buying cards like these. Uh, but what I'm investing for is not for Messi, I'm investing more for fitness. Because with Messi Player of the Month being announced, everybody has their minds on that and they're forgetting that this Friday we're going to be getting foot miss. And if it's the foot miss based on last year, the year before that, where we get daily SPCs for 24 hours, there's going to be a lot of demands on cards. So if you're smart enough and you go and find some deals, uh, you can still make money after the Messi uh, SPC is uh, out and you can get a lot of coins during the foot miss SPCs. And that might even finance uh, your uh, Messi SPC if you're interested in doing that. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do that SPC Messi. It depends on the price uh, when it comes out. I do have a few high rated untradables. I'm also going to pick untradables this Thursday. You're going to see how this SPC plays out and then I'm going to decide if I actually get it. Now, my investments uh, for this week are going to be more on the footmas promo. That is going to coming up it's going to start i think most likely on friday the 13th after team of the group stage is over so uh, if that's the case and like i said in my fitness uh, prediction video what you need to do uh, like for first day if it's the same pattern that ea had last year although there might be a chance that a lot of people are talking about that ea might put a fitness team in packs this year because of the money that they've been making in the promos and not release that many spcs if that's the case, then it's going to be another bad promo and it's going to be a sad promo. But if EA doesn't screw it up and they do the same like last year, 
and we have three daily SPCs for 24 hours. The first one on Friday should be uh, for the nascent Switzerland, for uh, the shirt number 12, and for the team that finished 12th in the top five leagues. So the most likely uh, candidates for that day are looking to be DePaul from Undinese. Uh, a lot of people are talking about Alexander, uh, Sandro from Juventus as a shirt number 12, and um, Sakiri from Switzerland for the nation. So if knowing that and believing that these might be the players, that might give you uh, an advantage into investing in those players. For example, maybe you want to get a few high-rated players from Switzerland. You might want to get some maybe 83s because the 84s are not are well overpriced um, by now. You might want to get maybe a few 83s from Juventus if Alexandro gets a, a shout. Or you, if DePaul gets one from Udinese, maybe get a players from there. Or get um, just some 83s maybe from Serie A. And also try to get some informs that are low and um, you can flip them there because most of the footmess cards, uh, most of the footmess SPCs require uh, informs. Now the best shout uh, I think for informs will be 83s and 84s. 84s are a bit inflated at the moment but you still can find some. I was looking into Arnautovic's 84 uh, which I got like a couple for 13,000. It's a good shout. Uh, he might be a, from a, a, a bad league but you can still uh, link him with at least uh, one or two cars like Paulinho, which is from the same league, or Osberg, which is 84 and 83, and then get some links out to them because they're Brazilian, and you only need one link to get like a, a few chem points. And if it's a high rated SBC, you only would need like a 60, 70, 75 chem, so you can even still have a dead card in there and still get the chem to complete that SBC. So on to today's uh, rewards. We're gonna claim our squad battle rewards. Uh, this time we did manage to get uh, Elite 2. Uh, I've been falling back on the on the games because with all the reviews that I've been doing on this channel, I don't have that much time to play the games. I barely get there to finish at the positions to at least get some packs. So I'm happy with at least getting Elite 2. So we have uh, some packs here, some mega, some rare golds, some primes, and all that. So we'll start opening these and see if we can hit something good from these players. All right, a jumbo premium gold pack. There's some objective packs in here, so they might be untradeable. But I don't mind if it's a high player. Yes, a walkout. Come on. Big, big. Right mid? No, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, the Bala 88. Now this is a good walkout, especially for a Messi SPC. He's Argentinian. He's 88. Um, that's a good good walkout. I believe that he also might be untradeable, so it doesn't matter. Especially from a 15k pack, it's a fantastic pull, I think. And also a pack, no loan, no. All right, so we're off to a good start. Second pack 88 the Bala. Let's keep going with these. Uh, gold players pack only one rare here so you have to be quite lucky to hit something and we don't all right let's go with the rare gold packs these are the pre-orders last week's uh, pre-orders were great let's hope for this week as well maybe get that team of the group stage we need come on blue 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 no walk out yes be a big one Big, big, De Bruyne, no, Courtois, another one, 88, I guess it's all right. Also, this guy is tradable, so uh, another 88, so it's been going great. So, so this pack opening is a lot better than uh, the one that I have. 46 packs, this only 10 packs and I already have two 88s. Okay, great first rare gold pack. Let's see if the next one holds something. Yes. Be blue, be blue. Walk out? No. Board. Big board. 85. Brasilia. Center back. 84. All right. All right, I have this guy, but at least this is tradable. Okay. Two primes, two megas. Let's open the mega 
Paxnol, let's open the primes. I think they might be untradeable from objectives or something. One should be SBC. I never like these primes. Primes are never my packs. I don't, really don't like them. Uh, but let's hope. Come on, come on, come on. This is it. Blue? No, walk out. No. Board, big board. Italian. Bufa. All right, last two packs, two mega packs. These are the squad battle, is it? I think it is. Oh, anyways, I think these are the squad battle packs. Let's see if these megas hold something. Well, first one was a bust. All right, second mega pack, last pack. Let's get a big one now to make this a great finish. Come on, come on, be a blue. No, walk out, yes. Big, Belgian, that way, Hazard, come on, yes, Eden Hazard, 91, get in, it's the best pool we have so far in terms of rating anyways, I know his price has uh, dropped a lot, but still, it's a tradable card, it's a 91, it's Eden Hazard, it's a fantastic pool, come on baby, come on, finally we get a big pool. I don't know how, I don't even know how much he's worth. 280, 290, 300k? I'll take that. Yes, come on. Well, we're selling him, we're selling him right away. Oh, hello, Ole. And something else? Ah, okay. Um, Eden Hazard, come on. Get in. What a pack. What a pack. So I will say I'll put him at 285, sell him right away, and make some good coins. So this was a fantastic pack uh, opening, small one, but we got a 91 Hazard, 88 Courtois, and 88 Dybala out of 10 packs. I'd say it was the best pack opening I've had so far. So this is going to be it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.